What's up guys, More Medic one here, and I wish you guys had smell -o vision Guys, I popped the end cap, or one of the inspection covers on this starter generator, and uh, the aroma coming out is just unexplainable. We're gonna dig into this thing and see just exactly what we got going on. So first thing we need to do is zip off the pulley, remove all of the nuts to all of the connections, electrical connections, so that way we can slide the end bells off of this old starter generator. Let's go ahead and zip this pulley off of here. I'll get to that pulley in a minute. I think I have to uh, figure out a way to hold the armature to get that pulley off. So let's go ahead and crack loose this end bell. Already took the nuts off of the electrical terminals. Once you get these out, look at all that dust coming out of there. We should just be able to tap this end bell off. Here is our, I'm gonna say most likely our failure. You see these brushes? You see how much material you have here on this one and this one? Well, this brush is just completely worn out and probably wasn't even touching the armature. Oh, she wouldn't have to My goodness. Yeah, that armature is just completely shot. Check, about, check out that wear. That is unrepairable, or I'm not going to mess with this. I'll replace the, the whole unit before I replace start replacing just parts like this. It's obviously gotten hot, so let's go ahead and remove this armature out of here and see where it was burned. Maybe we can see it, hopefully. Let's see if we can zip this pulley off. these suckers are on here so tight and I can't remember if it's righty tighty or lefty or I can't remember if this pulley is uh, righty loosey or lefty tighty I'm not even gonna jack with trying to get this off I think the way it's built I can just push this whole armature and end cap out of there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's toasty. Look at all that melted windings oh yeah now 
I put an adjustable wrench on here to try to hold this pulley earlier, but the reason that, that these armatures fail is it starts getting hot and wore out on these this commutator, and the commutator will start fusing together and just literally start shorting out right here. There's only one place for this starter, and that's going to be the file 13 bin. Or you may have to send it back for a core. In our case, we bought a new one and there was no core. But most of the time, if you send this off to get it rebuilt, they're going to want your old core. It's funny how that carbon won't wipe off. It's like grease. All that carbon dust. You don't want to breed this stuff. This is worse than asbestos. Guess I'll have to end up replacing my piece of cardboard on my bench here. Oh well. Now these brushes are replaceable as you can tell. But is it worth the time and effort to maybe it not work whenever you're done? I mean you can tell the difference. Look at the all the meat left on these and then this just this one is just completely worn out. Take that screw out right there and you can replace the brushes. But you'd have to have a whole new armature. Tell me in the comments below what you would do. Would you go have it rebuilt or just buy a new one? Make this piece of cardboard live one more day. I love tearing stuff down and looking at the carnage. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what you would do. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Mormonic 1.